What's up, what's up everybody? You know I was looking at this today and I started to think, I'm looking at the times, under, you know, sub 60 second dungeon times, there's a lot of people have sub 60 second, it doesn't really indicate anything. And all the hall of magic and water and all these things, good times on every, this is, by the way, this is my Europe server alt. Europe server alt, that's, that's the key, that it's my Europe server alt. And I was looking at this, it's like, oh, you know, we've got triple S and everything, which is pretty good, that's, that's pretty good, that's a good thing to have, triple S and everything. We have minute 37 seconds um, for R5, and now we're going to be, that's what, what we're going to do today in the video, we're going to be uh, working on a faster R5 team. Uh, we're going to do KB, we're going to not, not do regular KB, uh, Katarina Bailiger, we're going to do Kubeznyuf, QB5 on this account, because I have regular KB on my, my on my main, we're going to do QB on this account, but I was looking at all this stuff and I was like, that's pretty... It's pretty, pretty decent progress, right? I know it says we're fighter one right now, but we just have, we just have one unit defense. We're, we're C2 and RTA. And I'm thinking, I'm like, what? If we're working on a speed R5, we did every other piece of content. We're gonna speed R5 now, cause we need to do more R5. What really is left? <laughs> like, we are kind of approaching endgame with this account. I feel like we're approaching endgame. I mean, everyone has different definitions of endgame. I would say that finishing basically all... I mean, getting to C2 is not an easy task as on, 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 on anything. I mean, Artemil helps, don't get me wrong. Artemil helps, but we have decent runes on some of the other stuff as well. We still need work! Some of the stuff still needs work, but... Uh, we have some decent runes here and there on different things. It's not just Artemis. I mean, even even when they ban Artemis, we still we still win things. Um, but it just feels like at this point, like we're kind of approaching the end game part of the spectrum, which is weird for an alt account. Weird for an alt account. Also, Artemis Winter Wonderland. Oh, I forgot to mention Artemis Winter Wonderland. I keep saying that we were going to uh, we we're going to make it look pretty. On the Europe server account, because all the account, not all the accounts look the same. A few of them look the same, and you're like, I don't know what account he's on. It looks like the other one, and it has a fart in it. Whatever. So this one, Artemis Winter Wonderland, Europe server. Just think about it, like, oh, that's because this is what Finland looks like. This is basically exactly what Finland looks like. So you're like Europe server, Finland, Artemis Winter Wonderland. Perfect. Beautiful. I like this. I think it looks. I put a lot of effort into the pathways. Have the little stones. You're like bagel. What? What? Don't tell me you're gonna talk about the the design elements of the island now in the video. Shh. And then on the outskirts, there's the dead ones that were unloved and unwatered by the groundskeeper. Who's the groundskeeper? Vanessa's the groundskeeper. No. Josephine's the groundkeeper because look she's she's in there right now. She's keeping the grounds anyway I forgot where we were. What were we talking about? Oh, we're talking about R5. We're gonna progress to uh, So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of entering the end, end game realm, which is just crazy to think uh, But anyway today we're gonna be talking about R5. We're gonna be progressing to Running QB5 instead of KB5. It's the regular KB5 team with the Chloe and Messity uh, Galleon we are going to be doing a, because this is, this is the current uh, R5 team, we're going to be doing a different team. I know a lot of people already know what QB5 is. A lot of people might be running it already. I personally, I have a problem with, a lot, and screw you QB5 runners! I have a problem with a lot of the people that are running QB5, not a problem with them personally, but I have a, pro a problem with the fact that like, a lot of the people that run QB5 don't finish their teams. They have unawakened monsters, they have five star monsters, they runes are not leveled up at all, and then they fail. And then I'm like, hey, can we do something about not failing so much? And they're like, don't worry about it. Don't worry, I'm sorry, you're wasting my energy. I don't wanna be in this, in this, uh, I don't wanna run R5 with you anymore. So you know, please, please, for the love of God, Six star your monsters, max your runes, awaken your monsters. If you're gonna be trying to run speed R5, if you don't have the resources to do that, maybe you're trying to speed run R5 a little early if, if you don't have the resources. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, I know some people will be very happy I said that, and some people will be very offended that I said that. I'm gonna get so many dislikes by that, but someone's gotta say it. Um, 
Because to me, it's just disrespect. I feel like it's disrespectful to someone if you're gonna like not put the effort in and you're like not even five stars. Like, it's fine. Like, no, finish the job. Don't just say it's fine and then fail runs and cost me energy. Anyway, anyway, some people do it fine, like Highlander uh, or Chaotic FD. Like, if you raid with them, they're fine. But uh, for whatever reason, there's a lot of people running QB5 that just don't finish the team. Anyway, this is what a QB5 team looks like. So let me show you a... We fused Katarina already. We're getting ready to fuse the... Obviously, you see we're getting ready to fuse the Baylor. So the standard uh, Katarina R5 team is... Where is it? These guys... Where's Galleon? Where's Chloe? Oh, we need a leader skill. Oh, yeah, we need a leader skill. I don't think we really have... We need a leader skill. I mean, we could do, we could do like the monkey and stuff like that, but it needs to be specifically for R5. Like, we could use El Sharion, but he would need to be speed tuned for R5. He's, he's, we use him for RTA, and the El Sharion RTA build doesn't work in, uh, in R5. It's gonna mess up the turn order, it's gonna mess up a lot of stuff. Um, where is, I'm just showing, I'm just trying to show the team. And let's say, we should have one of these girls that's that works fine um something like this what am i missing i'm missing a oh a bailiger Lulz. let's just pretend that he's bailiger let's just pretend so uh so basically this is this is for like the regular <laughs> stupid fire bear this is like for the regular uh kb5 team um the difference with the QB5 team, Kabezanuf, is you take out the Chloe, and you take out the Galleon, and you put in Kabezanuf, and you put in um, a brand unit. A unit that has a brand. So, where is it? I didn't feed it, did I? I'm not that dumb. Yeah, I am. I am, I am that dumb. There we go. That's the brand unit. So that's what we're gonna, actually, this needs to be, we'll talk about why that needs to be uh, on the front line in a second, but this is basically the team. Um, this is supposed to be, supposed to be, and I think it is, I think it ultimately is a slightly, a slightly higher success rate um, for the Katarina and Bailiger R5 comps, because you have Katarina in the front line, it's, it's supposed to fail less as far as the AI is concerned. That's basically, that's, that's what I mean by uh, success and failure rate. Uh, the AI is supposed to be slightly better on here. So basically the three headed whatever um, will do some damage to Katarina, to, to the front line. Katarina will take some damage. Katarina is supposed to be the squishiest unit here. And then the, um, the water uh, Horus will move and he will use skill three on Katarina, which gives her attack power buff invincibility and crit rate buff uh, and then we have this one who also has a decent chance to uh, brand she'll give the defense break here she has the defense break here and she has the brand so she's more likely to if you have the attack buff from the horse and then you have the defense break from the uh Helia, then should hopefully things actually we have uh, another brand here too so uh this is also a brand so we should have decent chance to defense break and brand so it's it's slightly more reliable so that's why i thought i would like do it but like do it here like six star everything and awaken everything novel concept i know um but i think that here's the thing i think that we don't have the rune quality we didn't run um i showed you guys the picture right yeah, I mean, basically you you get the idea. So the the wind um the windy boy wind homunculus would be the brander in this case, the unit that does the well does does branding as well. But he's branding and he's fluff damage. So um, the we're using the harpy, and they're using the wind homunculus for the same basically the same the same thing. But I think here's here's the two things. For this, we need rage runes, fight wo uh, fight wounds, wage wounds, fight wounds, and will wounds. Rage runes, fight wounds. Ru oh God! Take two. Rage runes. <laughs> Don't help me to say rage and fight and will runes. 
We need a bunch of runes. We need a bunch of wounds. And they're gonna be good. Um, we don't need as high quality fight runes. Cause like for some things like the... The Shiwa, she doesn't need to have crazy runes. Uh, the Halia doesn't need to have crazy runes. It mostly needs to be speed tuned correctly. We need to get maximum damage out of the Katarina and Bailey. They also need to be speed tuned. Um, but those are the big things we need to try to get as much damage as possible out of those two units. And then we need to make sure that we have fight runes on a lot of the other support units and will runes on everything. So that's that's kind of the big thing. Just the will runes being there and then the maximum damage from Katarina and Bailiger, as well as speed tuning. Some of the fight runes can be like not that great. Don't put four star fight runes on, but like some if some of them was like five star purple, but they had like they rolled decent stats, like you can use some of those. But I feel like we still don't have uh, on this account. I don't think we really have a large amount of fight runes to work with. We got the we got some grinds, but oh we got a rune today. Oof. We got a not that one. This one. We got a rune today, right? It's got some potential in there. You know it's gonna roll all bad. But the fight runes, we don't have like a whole lot of fight runes at our disposal. So what we're gonna need to do is we need to craft some fight runes and we need to, um, excuse me. We need to craft some fight runes and we need to farm for more fight runes. So as long as you have and you don't, you don't need a, every team to be triple S, but if you have anything triple S, on any of these rift beasts, you should be able to at least get runes and grind. So you just keep farming whatever you have triple S on. It doesn't need to be fire. Fire helps because then you can craft it in addition to just getting the drops of that uh, of that certain type. But if you have one, if you if you're like a lot of A pluses on the, the fire one, but you're like just like triple S all the time on like the water one, you could just keep running the water one and get decent fight runes just as drops. You just can't craft them, right? So anyway, uh, that's the thing, and we've been running. I, we, I, I, I started uh, switching to Necropolis, so I've been running Necropolis um, to get the Rage and Will runes. So as long as we have those, but I think we just don't have the. I think we probably don't have the runes available at our disposal that we might need for these, because we need, like I said, max damage out of Katarina, max damage out of Bailiger. So we don't even have a Bailiger. We're six levels away from doing that. And then we have the other units built for him. But uh, let's try to rune up Katarina. Katarina awakens into speed, so we need to keep that in mind. I'm gonna try to get like, cause they need to be slow. The Katarina and Bailiger uh, shouldn't be that fast. The Bailiger should move slightly before the Katarina. So we could really go for like almost no speed on Katarina. We just want as much damage output as possible. And we wanna, Was this was just, that's just a coincidence that that rolled like that. We're not going to put this on Katarina, of course. We don't need this on any of these units. They don't actually need to be, like, the first units to move don't even need to be that fast. Oh, my goodness! Couldn't have rolled. I mean, it could have rolled better, but at least we got a speed. Even if it's not max rolls. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Second most favorable outcome. Even if this only gets one more speed roll, I'll, I'm sure I'll still use it. 19, okay. Uh, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, but... Might still use it. It's not gonna roll quad speed, but I mean, we could even re -app that and it's not... I don't want to throw a bunch of re into that. But it's not a bad thing to throw a bunch of re -apps. It's a It's a slot forward legend. If it had innate, that'd be even better, right? There's a couple of reasons this is not like the most top tier thing. Like you might think that it is like the most top tier thing to throw uh, reaps into, but there's no innate. And also, um, this you can't uh, like just be okay with value. This you need speed on it, right? This you need speed. For some of the other ones, you could be uh, okay with value. Like if you get a violent one, and you get a lot of defense, but you only have like you only wind up with 11 speed. Like, that's still, you could use that. You just use it, keep it like that, and like, okay, I have 11 speed, and then I grind a purple grind on that, and then I have, like, a billion defense on it. You get attack, you get accuracy, whatever. Um, you can keep it like that, and you can still use just fine. So, um, but for, for Swift, you need speed. So, it's not like the, 
you you wind you will wind up throwing more reaps into that. So let's let's uh, try to ruin her up though. Let's try to ruin her up. I was there, but uh, we need crit damage. We don't need speed. We don't need speed on it. We need crit damage. This might be okay. Might be okay. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to be that tanky though. We don't want to be too tanky. This was. We had to even. We had to gem the attack in. That's always a good sign. I would say at least we could use this. We could use this. Um, not super premium though. So what do we have as far as this is for dungeons? We can use this. These might be some of these because look at these stacked at HP. This might be better for Bailiger because again, like I said, we want uh, Katarina to be squishier because we want her to take some fluff damage so that Kabezanuf will give her the immunity. Um, for for the uh, when he does his skill three, we're hoping for crit damage. If we get two seven rolls, seven is the max roll into crit damage. <sighs> Yay! Seven is the max roll into crit damage. Ooh, this one's got some potential. So it's it's already max into crit damage, right? It's one off from being max on HP percentage, and we don't need maximum crit rate. Oh, God! If it has flat defense, it's gonna roll flat defense. That's what I've learned today. Uh, you know what? I already knew that. Never mind. So, we have to grind more runes. We have to farm more runes. We're hoping for a lot of crit damage. There we go. One away from max. Okay, if we get 20 crit damage on this, that's okay. We can use that. We can use that. We can use that. If we go more into HP, maybe we'll stick this on Bailigo. Maybe we'll uh, change it up. I'm hoping for like around plus 15 on the speed. Total. Very slow. Please crit damage. Please crit damage. One in three chance. One in three chance of getting crit damage. Fun. So fun. I was going to say fun the whole time. I wasn't trying to say something else. Oh, man. Fun game. <laughs> Super fun. Uh, okay. Well, we also do... Hold on. We also do have Will. What do we have for... Oh, we can get crit damage here. This is... Oh, we get crit damage there. So we have some options for... Not great options. We're going to have to keep rolling. Uh, not rolling. We're going to have to keep rolling. We're going to have to keep... <laughs> Look at that! Look at that amazing gem! GG! I think we won the game there. End game! End game! Remember what I was just saying about end game? Balls. End game. Yeah, end game my butt. Uh, that's not bad. It's got 10% more attack, but it misses out on crit rate. So we're gonna have to make up for that somewhere else. I like to try to put, um... Ugh. I don't like any of those. So this, this can only get crit rate and crit damage. Uh, this can't get attack power. I don't like any of these, man. Hmm. This is a I'm worried that might have too much speed. I'm worried it might have too much speed. We might... I mean, we're just gonna... Ooh! Let's, just, let's see how this one rolls. But I find that uh, from the... From the Katarina's that... From my Katarina and the other Katarina's that I've seen, like, plus 15 speed is not bad. Because she awakens into speed. She gets, she gets pretty fast. So things... Like, if she's too fast, if you accidentally have too much speed on her, she might be the wrong turn order. You know what? This is not bad. This is looking not bad. Can we get another attack? Uh, can we get another attack or crit damage? Would be great. And then we can get the uh, crit rate at the last one. Right? That'd be cool. Can we, can we do that game? Please. 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 Please, por favor. Okay. That's usable. That's, I mean, we could have more favorable rolls, but 
Maximum attack for for purple one like this, looking like this, would be 24 attack percentage and 14 crit damage. Because again, the attack can be eight up to eight, and crit damage can be up to seven. I don't know why it's weird, but um, so we're a little bit away from max, but that's not that bad. Query, please. Max crit rate, six percent crit rate is the dream. I'll take it. I know it's not perfect, but take what you can get. <laughs> take what you can get. Take what you can get. So we have over 200 crit, uh, crit damage right now. Um, we need more attack. Well, we, we're we going to get... No, 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 no. We're going to get more attack power from there. Let's get attack. That's... Hmm... So how much is this? 32 damage output. You kind of want a balance of both of them though. So this is, this is 32 and this is 32 as well. Lulz. But this one has the, this one has the crit rate. Uh, this one is how much? This one is 27. This is not bad. Let's see how this rolls. Well, actually, this wouldn't roll as good as the other ones anyway, would it? I don't think it would. So it's not super amazing ridiculous, but okay, so we don't have uh... We do need more crit rate, though. We do need more crit rate, so we have to make up for the crit rate here. Because <sighs> what are we at, 44? So we do need more crit rate. Even with the crit buff, we need more crit rate. So let's go crit damage is the most important thing. And we also need crit rate. So let's see. I don't love this, but if it rolls, if it dodges resistance and it just rolls crit damage and crit rate, that's, this could be good. This could be, weirdly enough, this could be good. So we might wind up using, maybe, maybe, are we too slow? We might be too slow. Crit damage. Damn it, resistance. No, always resistance. Well, we might have to derune something. I'm okay with derooting that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So, we need just a little bit more crit rate. So what is this? This is a 72% crit rate? This looks like this is what we're gonna do. Okay. So this looks, and he's on Rage Will. And, I mean, she's on Rage Will. She's on she. Not bad for a baby count. Not bad for a baby count. Speed looks good. Uh, attack power looks good. Crit rate, crit damage could be, I mean, we could have more damage output from here, but this might be okay. This might be okay. So maybe we're not- we still need a rune set for Bailiger though. So maybe we just need more- we have runes to craft though. We have some runes to craft. So, we're gonna run out of mana. We're gonna run out of mana. I don't love this rune though. We need another rune, hopefully with a lot of crit damage for this slot. A little bit of crit rate and a lot more crit damage. Come on, 35 crit damage. Not- not- not on this one. Not on this one. New rune! New rune. We'll craft some rage runes. 35 crit damage rage runes. I think we have a couple summons too. But, but this way, this is, I think this is gonna be like a two, two to three part series of entering endgame by Speed R5 team. Speed R5 team and uh, quest for G1 on the alt in, in uh, RTA. I'm 
I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna go for G1. Oh my god. That would be ridiculous. We don't even have a dragon on here. What do we need to go G1 for? G1 for dragon. G1 for extra Artemil shiny wings. It's not gonna, it's not gonna get upgraded, is it? I need to go through and I need to sell some of these, don't I? HP! Okay. Well, either way. Because, I mean, remember, this is unawakened and five star, level 31. So, how much damage can she do? Let's go, let's go into scenario, guys. Let's go into scenario. Let's find out how much damage. Um, oh, good. We have some spots. We have some spots open. Is there any poo-poos that I can get rid of? I don't really like that one. I don't know, like, I hope I don't need it. Let's try to see if this rolls speed and then toss it. Because if it rolls triple speed, that's 22 speed. I don't want to, like, get, get rid of a 22 speed. That could be 26 after we gem it. I mean, grind it. See? See? This is stupid farting thing, man. Hopefully we get rid of this. I don't want to keep, but like, uh, you, you never know what's going to roll triple speed. So, maybe a broken set, but at least we can, uh, we can use it. I don't really want, I might, I, we, we might have to put something on Fatal. Fatal's a li little less damage output though, um, but we might have to put something on Fatal for the time being if we don't have any good enough rage runes. Yo, look at this. Crit damage, attack, and crit rate. And resistance, so it's gonna roll all resistance. So let's do some, uh, let's do some rune crafts. Four rage runes. Or we could do will. How many wills do we have? You know what? Will is kind of flexible. Let's try to get some rage. Let's try to get some rage. And then we'll do some summons. Okay. We want, like, maybe that as a six star. We got four, like, four summons, not anything crazy. Not anything crazy. Yeah, even as a six star, that wouldn't be good enough. Nope. Zero runes, back to Necro, that's fine. That's fine. We <laughs> was hoping for like at least one rune, but <sighs> these things happen. See, I know so many people keep this. Really not. And I, I used to keep in the beginning of the game. I was like, oh, cool, it's extra damage. You really want that crit damage. You really, really want that crit damage. I guess we'll craft some violence. You really want the crit damage slot for not, not attack. Not attack. If you're early game, maybe that's a, then you're like, I. It's better than nothing. If you're like, have three six stars and you're like, I put this on my Lucian. Like, if you're at that point in early game, then that's fine, right? As much damage output as you can get, even if it's weird and wonky and like, okay. <laughs> um, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, um, but. If you're like mid game and you're putting attack slot four on things, it better be Ciara or Malaka. Any bomber, it better be a bomber. Um, oh, we have a few summons. Oh man, we got nothing from those rune crafts, man. Feels Batman. Well, we're gonna have to do. Um, we need a lot more. We how many how many fight runes do we have again? Ten fight runes. Because we need to do. We need to do. Um, the Horus. Both Horuses, we need to do Halia, we need to do, what else? Both Horuses, Halia, Fire Ninetail Fox, uh, or, or whatever attack power leader we have, and then the other monster. Who else? Who else did we say we were using? Whatever last monster was. Both Horuses. Fire Nine Tail Fox and Hilly. Oh, no, the last monsters are Katarina and Balegrick. That's why I can't think of them, because they're the ones that get rage runes. Uh, so, yeah, we need um, we need way more fight runes for that. So we'll have to... I don't think we can craft any. And also, I don't know if I crafted my uh, my reaps this week. So we might not be able to craft any fight runes. We might, well, might not want to craft any fight runes. 
We'll craft them later. We'll just farm more, craft them later. Okay, let's do some summons and call it a day. But yeah, progressing on to... Hey, there we go. We got a chow. Piggo, that's not a chow. That's not a chow, buddy. This is a chow. Oh, never mind. All right, anyway. Anything good here? No, nothing good there. Damn you, water monkey. Anyway, um, progressing into building QB5 team. So we'll see as time progresses. I'm going to go farm more Necro now. Did we do TOA yet? We did do TOA, okay. We have to continue on to finishing that. But I'm going to go do some more Necro because we have to farm more Rage. And Will, I'm going to pop an XP booster. We're going to finish um, fusing Bailograph to farm more essences for Awakening Katarina. But we are making progress onto where we need to go. And then we will I will give you guys an update when we are read, ready for an update, I guess. I don't know, maybe a week or something like that. We'll see how it is in a week and uh, if the things are ready to try it. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and maybe uh, hit me up on stream. If we're ready with the QB5, and I'll start uh, adding more people that we can QB5 together. Or, or KB5, whatever. Because they do kind of work together. Uh, for the most part, they're supposed to work together where you can QB5 and KB5. The same people, but... Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always. Get hyped for the next one. I'll have another island design too. Maybe. No promises. This one. Anyway, in the next one.